Do you have high cholesterol even though you've been known to be the healthiest person that you know? Have you also struggled with a missing or irregular period? Let's break down the connection between your hormones and cholesterol metabolism. When your body is under a great deal of stress, let's say in the instance of under eating, overtraining, and living in constant fight or flight, this alone can lead to an elevation in stress hormones known as cortisol, which can lead to an elevation in bad cholesterol, which is your LDL. Estrogen plays a key role in lipid metabolism, increasing your HDL cholesterol, which is your good cholesterol, and decreasing your LDL, which is your bad cholesterol. And when your body doesn't have enough estrogen due to being postmenopausal or dealing with hypothalamic amenorrhea, we can see an elevation in both total cholesterol and triglycerides. And if you've been dealing with a missing period due to overtraining and undereating, getting it back can help you decrease that risk of developing cardiovascular disease. In short, cholesterol is not the bad guy, your liver actually produces quite a bit of it, and consuming cholesterol does not actually increase your cholesterol levels. And we actually do need a good amount of cholesterol for producing hormones, vitamin D synthesis, and maintaining cell membranes, but it's really about getting to the root of why it's elevated and correcting the root cause. And if this is something that you're confused about and you're tired of being dismissed by doctors saying that it's not a big issue, and you're looking for more of a holistic approach in helping you get to the root cause, comment down the word labs if you want to gain more support.